So we've been talking to everybody else, Dave, about Rugby World Cup starts tomorrow. Are you looking forward to the tournament? Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait. It's going to be a real buzz in the area, buzz in the country, and uh, with England's chances being as good as uh, a lot of teams in the tournament, it gives us something to really look forward to. And as a local lad, obviously you sort of play for your local club and so you're very proud about the area. How pleased are you as a North that the tournament's going to be just down the road? It's brilliant. It wouldn't be quite right if it went to the stadium of light, would it? <laughs> um, no, it's, it's really exciting. Really exciting. St James' Park's a great venue. You know, if you get 50 odd thousand people in there watching some great games that are coming there, it's um, and competitive games, I think, is the key. I think all three games at St James are going to be competitive for various reasons. Um, obviously, the Samoa Scotland one could potentially be the group decider. Um, Scotland will fancy their chances against of upsetting South Africa. And then the New Zealand Tonga, you know, you know what New Zealand are going to bring their, their brand of rugby, but the Tongans on their day are pretty fierce and uh, it should make for a great game. Right. As an area that's, if you believe, sort of the, the pundits and those in the north isn't a rugby area, it's interesting that sort of our two final games at St James of Park are going to be the ones that people are going to be really intently watching. Yeah, I, th I think, uh, you know, support, sport in the North East is supported brilliantly. It's entertainment for everyone up here and, um, you know, there'll be, regardless of whether there was anything hanging on the games, there'd be a sellout there and, and it'd be really loud, good atmosphere, uh, the fan zone just down the road from the from the, from the the stadium. I think um, the fact that there will potentially be more riding on it just adds to that and, uh, you know, there'll be a huge buzz lead up, leading up to those games but there'll be a huge buzz leading up to all the games at St James's Park. And have you got your tickets? I have I'm off to see South Africa, Scotland. Um, my wife's family are Scottish, and so we're being raided from north of the border from uh, with a few of them. But uh, you know, it'd be it'd be good, and it's nice. And, and, and rugby brings everyone together. You know, it's great. It's a great family sport. As I say, there'll be a great atmosphere inside the stadium, and I can't wait. And in terms, of and if anybody's got tickets for Tom in New Zealand, <laughs> I'm looking for a couple. I'm looking for a couple. <laughs> And in terms of players that are going to be at the tournament, I mean, so there's always somebody who, who breaks onto the scene at, at, at a World Cup. Is there anybody in particular that you might be tipping to? Uh, oh, it's tough to see. You know, it depends who gets the opportunity. You know, I like, I like Henry Slade. I think he's had a fantastic year in the Premiership. I'm disappointed to see him not involved this weekend. And I think, um, you know, it's funny how the tournament goes with injuries and things like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if there was a Henry Slade out there who was ready to kick on and go to the next level. You know, someone that no one necessarily tips before the tournament. But as, as the tournament evolves, gets a chance whether through by luck or by by deserving it or sort of not deserving it but you know by the fact that, that the way they get they get a call up they take it and um no, there'll, there'll be someone out there who it is at the moment i'm just looking forward to seeing everyone play really and the really hard question if you're going to pick a team at this stage before the ball's being kicked who do you think is going to go all the way uh oh, i've said all along if england get out of their group i'd fancy england to, to to have a good crack at it whether they can get out of the group or not i think it's going to be tough and i think um if australia get out of the group they could go a long way and uh, and obviously new zealand really um but i wouldn't write off the south africans or the french or even the irish you know so it's going to be a great it's going to be a great, so it's gonna be a great tournament yes <laughs> it's going to be a great tournament brilliant